In the headlines, biggest pharmaceutical manufacturing plant for intravenous flus in West Africa, commissioned at La Pleku near Pram Pram in Ghana. Glow directs customers to select Airtel Tigo as network provider. Sir Sam Jonas speaks about business ownership in Ghana, Obwasi development and his presidential dream. Ghana Bar Association backs AG's call for all court cases to be televised. Volta Region records lowest percentage of persons fully vaccinated against COVID-19. And deferred KNUST students given four weeks reprieve to settle the arrears. Welcome to the news in brief on Graphic Online. One of the biggest pharmaceutical manufacturing plants in West Africa has been commissioned in Ghana today. It is located at Lapleku in the Ningo Pram Pram area of Greater Accra. President Nana Dudanko Akufuadu commissioned the plant, owned by Atlantic Life Sciences Limited. Our reporters Benjamin Onam Glover and Kweku Zurek sent in this brief. The company, which is under the government's One District, One Factory program, will begin commercial manufacturing of infusions, anesthesia, vaccines and eye drops for the Ghanaian markets as well as the West Africa region. President Ekufuadu and other officials toured the serums and vaccines plant and had this to say. The establishment of this factory is a concrete manifestation of the new paradigm of economic development which this administration is vigorously pursuing of promoting value addition industrial activities within a conducive and business-friendly environment can make headway. This morning's ceremony is in further fulfillment of the promise by government in partnership with the private sector to set up at least one medium to large-scale enterprise in every district of Ghana. Whilst previous attempts at rural economic revitalization in Ghana have focused mainly on the provision of physical infrastructural facilities. The One District, One Factory program focuses on the provision and promotion of commercially viable business ventures to generate sustainable and accelerated economic development for rural communities. And to the telco sector, all Glow customers in Ghana are to be automatically logged onto the Airtel Tigo network by April 23rd. This is following the mobile network operator's nationwide national roaming arrangement with state-owned Airtel Tigo for voice, data and SMS services. It is part of efforts to provide wider coverage and a faster internet experience for Glow customers. This means Glow customers will continue to recharge with Glow scratch cards or electronic credit transfers and enjoy all existing Glow products, including value-added services, a statement issued by the company today said. All Glow customers who will face any difficulty in automatically switching service provider have been asked to do so manually. And in business, Sir Sam Jonah, touted to have transformed the Obuasi mine of Anglo Gold Ashanti, has been speaking about business ownership in Ghana. Today, he retreated his worry about why there are no Ghanaian owners in major businesses in the country, such as in the telcos, mining, oil and gas, and the banking sectors. He spoke in an interview with GTV's Kafui Day. I had previously in my speeches, I've lamented on the fact that the Ghanaian ownership of the local economy is very disappointing. Whether it's MTN, whether it's Airtel, there is no Ghanaian who has 1% of any of them. Look at the banks. They have a Nigerian owned or standard chartered banks, all of them foreign owned. Look at even insurance companies now. Look at the mines. There's no Ghanaian who has 1% of any of the mines. There's no Ghanaian who has 1% of any of the oil, the tallow or whatever. Empowerment doesn't just happen. It's a deliberate act of government policy to empower your own people. Touching on Obuasi, Sir Sam Juna also had some words for people who think that he should have been the one to have transformed the Obuasi township, same as mining has transformed Johannesburg in South Africa. When they say I should have done more for Obuasi, I think that people understand, misunderstand the role that the chief executive of a company has. So you don't have the freedom or the authority to do what you like. However, because of my commitment to sustainability as defined earlier, 
I made sure, I made sure that I made the case to the company, to the company. When I became chief executive in 1986, I and my team, we came up with a plan for rehabilitation of Obuas and modernization. And in politics, there are speculations say Samjuna may one day be running as president. So when Kafui Day asked him what law he would pass if he was to become president for one day, this was his response. If I was a president for one hour, yes. I would step into the shoes of Kwame Nkrumah for one hour. He was a visionary. He offered the leadership the country needs, Africa needs, the world needs. He was streets ahead of his time. He died ahead of time, years ahead of his time. He was a guy who gave everybody hope. Okay. And um, if, if I had to be a president for one hour, for one day, I'll be, one day, yes. I'll be coming from for one day and I'll bring hope. And I'll bring hope and I would, I would let people dream their dreams and let people think big and let people look beyond the narrow whatever of politics and be Ghanaians first. A proposal by the Attorney General and Minister of Justice for all court cases to be televised has been supported by the Ghana Bar Association. The AG and Minister of Justice Godfrey Yabu Adame had chastised some lawyers who he said have been denigrating judges they disagree with their judgments. To help solve that problem, the AG is therefore proposing telecasting all court proceedings so that the public can be live witnesses. The Attorney General at the opening of this year's Bench, Bar and Faculty Conference on Thursday observed that some lawyers disseminate falsehoods about the judiciary on social media after losing a case and therefore believes that his recommendation will assist in curbing what he describes as unacceptable practices in the legal fraternity. Supporting the AG, the Public Relations Officer of GBA, Xavier Kuje, shared in the Attorney General's view but the Director of Legal Affairs of the Opposition National Democratic Congress, Abraham Amalba, disagreed with the Attorney General saying that the AG's continuous support of judgments by the Supreme Court poses a threat to the justice delivery system of the country. And to some health news, although there are currently no active cases of COVID-19 in the Volta region, the region has recorded the lowest percentage of people fully vaccinated against COVID-19 in Ghana. According to the Volta Regional Deputy Director of Health Services, Dr. Senenu Jokoto, the health authorities are worried about the lack of interest in vaccination against the virus in the region. Dr. Jokoto, who is in charge of public health, also pointed out that the easing of COVID-19 restrictions across the globe did not make vaccination against the virus less important. He insists that the easing of the restrictions rather place a greater responsibility on the citizens to sustain COVID-19 vaccination until an appreciable level of herd immunity was attained. And to wrap up, students who deferred recently for non-payment of fees have been given a four weeks reprieve by the management of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology to settle their bills. The development follows a stakeholders meeting today called at the instance of the Minister of Education. Over 6,000 students on Tuesday had their courses deferred following their inability to meet the university's 70% fee payment plan. According to the university's relations office, Dr. Daniel Norris Berquin, over 3,500 of the affected students have since been reinstated after meeting the fee payment plan of the university by close of day on Thursday. The Minister for Education, Dr. Yawase Duchum, during the meeting today urged the affected students to strive to access the Student Loan Trust Fund, saying per the new arrangement instituted by government, there was no need for a guarantor. News in Brief was brought to you by Graphic News Plus. Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and protect yourself from COVID-19. For more news, please visit graphic.com.gh or log on to Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube at GraphicGH. I am Enoch Oda Ohiniafa Frimpong.